Hello, welcome to the Atinas channel. This is a new channel that we've created to enable us to learn more about the basic laws of Ghana. As we all know, it is never an excuse if you don't know what the law is. So we all need to learn and order our steps accordingly. Today we'll talk about a very important matter which is debt recovery. Maybe somebody owes you, somebody has taken some money from you or you have taken some money from someone. The question is, how do you ensure that your loan amount is secured? How do you ensure that this person is going to pay and you can look for the person whenever you need? Can you get the money when the person dies? What can the court do to assist you to recover your loan? Or can a person who owes you money or data, can the person be imprisoned and jailed or even put at the counter back just to scare the person to pay your money these are some of the questions that we want to discuss here and then in the case that a person has passed on or the person has died who do you go to can you get your money back we will answer these questions in this very 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 short so the first thing that we will consider is that what should you look out for when you are giving a loan to someone number one check to know the address of the person where the person lives whether you work with the person or the person came to your shop or the person lives naturally comes from find out the person's business that he or she is engaging let's see the value of the business make sure that the person's value or his business value is more than the amount of maybe say ten thousand you are giving him does he have assets does he have a car does he have even personal belongings which will be worth more than the ten thousand if you are lucky and you can write then you can put this in writing or get someone to put this loan agreement in writing for you so there will be records to show that such a transaction has occurred between you and the data if there are witnesses that will be a very good thing so that you don't have to struggle to prove your case one day in case you're unable to write these things down you can still get a witness who will be able to help you prove your case in in, in case of default so you can have an oral agreement but with a witness testifying to that agreement let's say that you have done all of this due diligence and have checked whether he has assets and all of that and then there is default if it is one month default what do you do please write to the person or send a message nowadays there is whatsapp there are text messages send a message hello up now you took this amount of money from me on this date you said you'll pay by this day but you have not paid get a response that can be a form of evidence for you one day if the person defaults totally and you have waited so long for for nothing what do you do can you go to the court yes you can but before you go to court what can you do you can go to an elderly person the person the person no you can get to the witness to to the the data you can report to the chief's palace whichever avenue that you can get amicable settlements that will be good it will be good to so that you can save time it will be good so i can save money it will be good so that you can still save the relationship that you have between the person and you in case all of these avenues fail you can still go to our court the court is open to you if you go to court and the person admits that he or she owes you money then hallelujah you are good to go the court may ask for the person to pay immediately or ask for payment terms it all depends on the arrangement that you make in the courtroom but if no such terms are made what can you do when somebody owes you money you have no business taking the person to prison the court has no business taking the data to prison that is not the law nobody is in prison for how much they owe because of a loan or a business transaction unless you can show that there is some kind of defrauding by false pretense or something which is stated in our criminal laws you cannot send the person to prison let us take notes sometimes we go to the police and we ask them to scare them and we, all of that may be tactics that you may use to get your money back but it is wrong to arrest somebody because of a non-payment of loan for you is that if the person has an asset that you know of the court can give an order for you to get that asset and sell it to defray your debts if the person has a bank account the person has some money in that bank account the court can give you an order so that the bank will pay that money to you to defray the loan amount 
the person has personal belongings the person has a car any form of assets that you can sell to defray the loan the courts can grant you that power but then take notes as we said earlier no arrests no imprisonment no jail time because the person owes you money another question comes up that okay so what if the person that i the person that owes me money dies before he finishes paying the money in law if someone dies the administrator so personal representative of the person or executors are supposed to pay the just debts and funeral expenses before they even share the property of the person and so if you are lucky and this person has bank accounts with lots of money in the form of car anything anything that can be sold then the law empowers the personal representatives or executives or administrators to pay the just debts of the deceased person and pay funeral lesson even before they share however if the person did not have any asset before the person died or the asset cannot free all the costs or the loans or the debts that the deceased left behind then unfortunately you may not have any opportunity to recover your money from the family remember the family did not have any contract with you they did not come to borrow your money they did not come for any loan from you and so you may have to bear that cost as bad debt that is what I want us to discuss today. This is all the questions will come up. I will take time to respond to them appropriately. Please put your questions in the comment box. Like, share with other people so that they can also advise themselves accordingly. Until we meet again, please take care of yourselves and please be diligent in granting loans to other people. Thank you and have a very good day. Bye.